G'day, g'day, hope everyone's having a good one. Um, today I'm just going to be quickly making a video going over how to make a road in GeoGen. Um, I will be covering splines, uh, you know, to, to, I guess, generate it. Um, this will be great for making, um, you know, maybe like a winding road. Maybe you'd want to try making a city. This could be um, like a backdrop. The key thing I'm going to be showing off is sort of making like a race car track sort of um, design. Um, ultimately, this is going to be hopefully a really quick one. Uh, I do have another video going over, I guess, all the tools. I'm not too sure if I'm going to record it tomorrow, being Sunday, or if I'm going to record it maybe sometime next week. I did record it, had issues. I couldn't even launch GeoGen only just about two minutes ago got it working. Um, so I guess I'll get into it. So first things first, I'm just going to install. I really like the new, um, updated, uh, default terrain though. I just want to point that one out. Um, but no, I'm going to, uh, remove that. Um, and for the sake of this video, I'm not, I'm just going to keep this super simple. So I'm just going to, uh, right click. I'm going to go noise. Uh, you can use fractal and noise or anything. Anything works really. Just wanting a base scene, but I'm going to sort of show something really simple. I'm um, just going to bump down this relative noise here, just for a little bit of, I guess, basic boring plain detail going on. Um, I mean, we could, you know, play with the scales and stuff, which isn't really going to give you that different of a look, of course. Um, when we're running, I guess these percents really i don't know let's just shove something like that for example um and next we're going to be working on adding a i'm going off the top of my head i usually have a second version uh that i use as a basis but uh i believe i remember um i'm also going to quickly add a um a color node just for now um and this is going to be our default color that we're going to be utilizing i guess for this basic terrain so we're just going to go colors i love the fact that we've got a bunch of new um you know preset materials here so you can just choose whichever one works for you i might choose like a sandy one um i don't know this isn't uh, like this isn't this is this tutorial explicitly going over how to make um uh like a a, a road so don't you know, I'm not putting much time into making this terrain here. Next, we're going to add a, I believe, mask adjust. Mask. Ah, uh, should we, should we go mask adjust? Um, I'm going to build up the, I'm going to add a blur as well. I'm just going to be putting in the nose, make sure that's connected. Awesome. Plug this into the blur. And that's going to blur the, um, terrain here and i believe it is i'll play around with that i need to get the spline working here first so i'm just going to double click to open up the spline here um and in order to add points is a key thing okay i didn't this took me a minute to figure out you have to double click um and it's not just like click click sometimes that works but like if you leave too long it's not going to work and single click isn't going to work so you make sure to double click this is how you add, you know, splines. So, for example, I'm just going to decrease the range here, and that's going to decrease the um, the width. So, if I want to go for like a race car track, we can go like um, long straight into maybe like a almost like a hairpin. Oops, make sure I'm double clicking. And then I also go on to another one, for example, to another straight. Oops. And then I can click these two. And I believe if I just click that bottom option, I just going back over. So control click to select. Um, I don't think there's, okay, so there's also drag select as well. And it's just this one here, which is going to merge and here we've got ourselves a cool racetrack um, design. We could maybe play around with some of these and where they're positioned. 
bring these longer we can go for a sharp corner like that um you can also um go I'll, I'll show off you know you can press um this one this is similar to if you've used um you know stuff in in for example substance uh for uh, uh substance painter sorry um well, very similar in times in terms of its looks here so um for those of you who use other similar tools um you're gonna get uh, this will be pretty easy to pick up we've also got another option here um which is like four points in a triangle that selects everything and will allow you to move them all which is really really awesome um those are the three uh extra options there um the if i were to give any feedback um or any anything that i'd like to see improved um potentially like a little bit of text when you hover over them it says you know spline for example slit dull points you know um you know uh smooth dash harden spline i don't know merge um splines either way that's how you get that and so now we've got this really awesome um spline here and now i just need to make it um the so the mask is affecting it so i believe um i'm going to be right back just so i can remember which one this is sweet so it's pretty simple i just forgot a little bit um all you got to be doing shoving up this radius modulation and as you can see here um it's also helpful that i have that base colorize node on um which i could probably shove on a gradient or something i don't know we could add like um i don't know maybe occlusion for example i don't know anything really works there um Uh, for instance um oh, well, not really what i was meaning to show but regardless um it, here we can see by shoving this up you can see it, it smooths the areas where we have this and now what i'm going to be doing here is playing with the um make sure you sleep the the mask remap and we can play around with this option here, this, uh, the right, um, I guess, slider of the remap. And you can just leave it here, or you could add, like, a second one, and just leave it like there. And that's just going to make this a really harsh point. Now, I have increased the size of this, just so it's more visible. Um, and here's what it would be like, uh, reducing the size, as you can see there. A bit hard to see. But it is going to be noticeable when I add this um, colorize node here. Plug this one in. I'm going to get this to be red. Now we're going to plug in, I believe it's going to be the mask spline. Oh no, mask adjust, sorry. Is it gradient? I believe it's gradient in here um, as well. I might get back to you guys on that one but here we can see we've now outlined our um our uh little course here i'm just gonna smooth this it's just a, for a personal thing uh, we can have like one sharp um like almost uh like a 90 degree angle there um and here we've got our awesome road here now to get a cool uh road this is, I played around with this as well as scourging into some um, of the presets, but this one should be fairly simple. Uh, we're going to add um, some points here. So I'm just going to go black, black here. Um, what are we getting with this being black? So here, um, just going to debate pumping that up the quality just for better visibility I could probably go black uh one moment i see where i went wrong i plugged it into the wrong one it's because there's not much uh, difference in this whereas this gives you much better gradient oopsies i just unplugged it all 
Um, so that's where the gradient was wrong. I knew I got something messed up here. Awesome. So as you can see here, we can, oops, um, we've got access to the middle lane here. Uh, I can remove one of these, for example, um, so we can play around with all this. We've also got access to this being the outside, uh, which seems like there's another one along there. Hold on. Just delete that. That's going to give us a much smoother look. Um, then you can play around with increasing and decreasing that. And so, for example, I could go and make this... Um, a the thing I like doing is a bit of a darker gray and then making um, the roads to be quite a bit lighter so I'm just going to be feel free to copy the HSL oopsies just going to delete um, so we're going uh, 7F 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 I think and it's going to give us this result. Um, you can probably plug another one, which could give you an interesting dual laned one. I mean, ultimately, it's just about playing around with um, these results um, to get whichever result you're after, really. And we can run like this. Oops. Oh, man. It's being goofy. Sorry. Delete. There we go. You're like three lanes, which would be kind of funny. Uh, not at all realistic there, though. Uh, I might make this a little bit darker, just for the sake of the story. I think something like that maybe a bit better. What, what are we running here? Three E's. Uh, do the same here. Shall we remove it? And that's going to give me a much cooler result there. Just playing around with this will obviously give you different sizing and whatnot. Um, and we can, once again, increase the outside lightness. That's going to give you a really awesome racetrack. Once again, you know, we could go without this. Um, and that's going to be a pretty cool racetrack. Um, you could also change this to being like a, a yellow. It's more orange. A yellow. I feel really cool design here. You can get some really cool looks to it um something else that i found pretty cool i believe was going from mask i believe um yep this isn't a this isn't really a racetrack here this is just something that i found a pretty cool result um and you can shove it to something like that for example um and then we can add, 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 I don't know, for example, an adjust, right? Um, and play around with the offset um, here. And we can also play around with the alternative color schemes, which is just going to be that. So, for example, I can make it single color. Um, and black would probably give you a better result. Um... Another thing that you could probably play around with uh, would be here. Oops. Make sure we're visualizing this. Um, in decreasing probably the um, how sharp that is is probably also going to give you potentially nicer, smoother um, look to it. Um, just being careful about how you're going about all that. Um, that could give you a really cool thing. Like, you know, if you've ever seen some of those um, uh, games where they have like a, a base ground, for example. I think I could turn off the grid. I'm not too sure, actually. Um, but yeah, you, they have just like a like a ground that's lifted and it kind of shows you that racetrack and that's something similar to this where we've now got a lifted racetrack once again this doesn't have to be a racetrack this can be like a legitimate road uh going around a mountain um this can work pretty much with anything um 
I think it's pretty cool. I think there's a, a lot that you can do with it. Um, and it's really just restricted to your own imagination. So I'm just going to plot something else up. Yeah, so once again, it can be really anything. Here's like a winding road going between a canyon. Yes, this is incredibly basic. This is just playing around with the um, the base uh, crevasse scene. Um, once again, I'll show you uh, what it would sort of look like if you were to do um, a sort of like a more mountainous thing. Um, here's an example for uh, of, you know, a uh, road going up um, a mountain. Uh, yeah, there's some issues you're going to run into, unfortunately. Another one is the splines are 2D. So you are really plotting up, for example, um, the designs on the flat plane instead of up the mountain itself. Um, for anybody interested in this, it's just... Uh, mask spline to the mask adjusts as I was showing earlier and I got the um, I effectively you know used from mask I met from mask and this is just plugging in a base uh, detail with a you know effective just shape this shape being a cone um, the warp noise plugged in blending that together to give you a bit of just a random mountain, just a super quick design, uh, which I'm therefore blending again with um, with that uh, that mask, because otherwise you're just going to be running into issues. This would be without the mask. Um, it's all right, but I found plugging this in seems to just allow me to play around a bit more with. Um, that design there and then yeah um that's about that sorry that seems to break the um visualizer interesting um and you can probably play around with like a subtract for example add sub a lot of these are pretty cool um you can do like soft min trying to make that a smoother road ultimately um But yeah, that's uh, ultimately a pretty cool result, I find, um, where it's pretty well. Oh, there we go. Increasing the um, max, the maximal height difference there um, seems to give you a significantly smoother uh, result there. So uh, do make sure to use that if you want um, a smoother road there. Albeit it does cut into the um, terrain a little bit, unfortunately. Um, you could probably remove that from mask. Uh, in that instance, yeah. Um, but no, ultimately, that's about how you can go about doing it. I guess I can quickly, um, oops, let's go back, um, show off uh, once again. It's pretty simple, ultimately, this design. It works pretty well, um, you know. And once again, these splines, they have a lot of control, um, I plugged, for example, this in, um, instead of going, for example, that design, we can just have like a, just that base color that we heard, that we had earlier, um, plugging, uh, just even any noise in for a basic, um, result, or, you know, no, we can plug in, for example, a base, uh, go add that crevasse again, um, with a random spline, I'm just going to quickly delete this uh, so once again just clicking all delete add a bunch of um, these random points here Oops. come on double click um, and once again you know you can always double click from it um, to give you those results um, uh, make sure you have pretty harsh mask um, and we can increase the offset here um, oops. Not sure I'm actually visualizing it all um, I think we might want to smoothen and then we'd want to decrease the offset here um, and we could get a really cool uh, if we turned on the water 
We get a, a cool stream here. Uh, if we got this <laughs> set up in the right spots, ultimately. Unless you could do water bite to a specific point. That'd be pretty cool. Um, either way, probably playing around with some of those uh, would give you a much clearer result, I think. If I went offset significantly higher and then um, decrease this offset by like 50. Oops. I don't know if that's going to work. Ooh, negative 50. Um, there we go. This will work. Oh, much better. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, because it's uneven, uh, you're not going to get a great result there. You probably want a much flatter. Go with my original noise. Something like this would probably give you a much better result. Um, oh, there's no offset I just found. Probably foreground offset. There we go. Ah, oh, even then. I'm just struggling to make this actually work in my favor. Um, oops. I don't know. I'll have to play around with that to figure out streams in my own uh, time as I seem to be getting um, these unfortunate issues. You'd probably want like a perfectly flat region um, for that, I guess. Um, oh man, it's always all the, all the way at the bottom, unfortunately. But now you'd probably want like an almost completely flat. Oh, that's interesting. That seems to be going over even when that's not interesting i don't know that's something for another day something for another day in another tutorial but hopefully you can sort of see what you can sort of work with in terms of um these i guess uh splines yeah thank you have a good one and we'll catch you guys next time laters